What's up you guys, it's Deep over here and today I'm going to show you how to create this retro 3D text effect in Photoshop. Also if you want to learn how to create such cool things using Photoshop then smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So the first step we need to do is create a new document. So for that go to file and then select option new. After that set the width as 1280 pixels, height as 720 pixels and resolution as 72 pixels per inch and then click on OK. After that we need to fill this document with a nice color so for that click on create new fill or adjustment layer icon and then select option solid color. After that set any color of your choice which will be the background of our text, I am setting it as DECC85 and then click on OK. After that create a new layer by clicking on create new layer icon and then select brush tool, set brush as soft round and then set the foreground color as white and then increase the size of the brush as this much. You can increase and decrease the size of the brush using the square bracket keys of your keyboard and then using the brush click on the document. So as you can see one white spot has been created, after that decrease the opacity of this layer to 30%. So as you can see this gives such a nice gradient look over here, let me just show you before and after by clicking on this R icon. So this is the after and this is the before. Now after that we need to type in the text, so for that select horizontal type tool and then select any font of your choice. Download link for the font I am using is in the description below. Also if you don't know how to install font in Photoshop, the link for that is in the description as well. After that set any appropriate size for the font, I am setting it as 450 point and then set the foreground color as black or any color of your choice and then click on the document and then type in your text. After that click on the stick icon to place it. Now we need to place this text at the center of the document so for that press ctrl and click on this background layer which will keep the selection of the text layer and give you the selection of this background layer. After that select move tool and then click on align vertical centers. After that click on align horizontal centers. So as you can see now the text has been placed at the center of the document. After that make the text layer active by clicking on it. Now we need to fill this text with a nice gradient color so for that click on add layer style option and then select option blending options. After that select the gradient overlay option and then set the blend mode as normal, opacity as 100%. After that click on this gradient icon besides the drop down. After that set the gradient as foreground to background and then double click on this left bottom color stop which will let you choose any color of your choice. After that set any color, I am setting it as 196732 and then click on OK. After that double click on this right bottom color stop and then set any color of your choice. I am setting it as ABFFBB and then click on OK. After that click on OK. After that set the style as linear, angle as 90 degree and scale as 100% and then click on OK. Now after that let's convert this text into a smart object so that we can edit it afterwards non-destructively. So for that right click on the text layer and then select option convert to smart object. Now after that let's apply some stroke and give some shadows over here to make this text look more proper. So for that click on add layer style option and then select option blending options. After that select the stroke option and then set the size of the stroke as 7 pixels. Set the position as inside, blend mode as normal, opacity as 100% and color as white. After that let's apply some shadows to give some depth effect over here so for that click on inner shadow and then set the blend mode as linear bun, color as black, opacity as 50%, set the angle as 120 degree and then untick this use global light option, set the distance as 15 pixels and then set the size as 25 pixels. So as you can see by adding some shadows it is giving such a nice depth effect over here. Now let's add some more shadows in order to make it look more proper. So for that click on inner glow option and then set the blend mode as linear burn. Set the opacity to 15%. Set the color as black and then set the size to 20 pixels. Now let me just show you the before and after of the overall style effect by clicking on this preview checkbox. So this is the before and this is the after. Looks so nice right? After that click on OK. 
Now we need to give a horizontal lines pattern inside of the text. So for that we will have to create one pattern. So for that click on file and then select option new. After that set the width as 3 pixels, height as 6 pixels and resolution as 72 pixels per inch and then click on ok. After that press ctrl plus plus key of your keyboard to zoom into the document. So this is the maximum I can zoom into the document. After that select rectangular marquee tool. After that press shift and then drag from top corner as follows. By pressing shift it will give you selection in the form of a square. So as it is in the form of a square only half of the document will be selected. After that right click inside of the selection and then select option fill. After that set the use as black and then click on ok. After that press ctrl plus d to deselect the selection. Now we need to save this thing as a pattern so for that click on edit and then select option define pattern. After that give any name of your choice and then click on ok. Now in order to apply the pattern which we have just created to the text all you need to do is double click on this effects option which will again open that pop up. Now after that select the pattern overlay option and then click on this drop down in order to select the pattern. After that over here you will find the pattern which you have just now created. So now in order to select that pattern double click on it. After that set the blend mode of this pattern to multiply and then reduce its opacity to 10% and then click on ok. So as you can see it is giving such a nice retro look to the text by applying this pattern. Now after that let's start with the creation of our 3D text. So for that create a duplicate of this text layer by pressing Ctrl plus J. After that bring the duplicate text layer below the original text layer. After that right click on the duplicate text layer and then select option clear layer style. After that rename that layer as 3D depth. Now after that let's turn off our original text layer by clicking on the eye icon. Now we need to give some layer styles to this 3D depth text layer over here as well. So for that click on add layer style option and then select option blending options. After that click on this bevel and emboss and then click on this reset to defaults which will apply the default settings over here. After that click on color overlay and now over here set the color which you would like to see as the depth of the 3D text. I am setting it as 6C9575 and then click on OK. After that click on OK. Now in order to create the depth of the 3D text all you need to do is follow these three steps. So the first step you need to do is create a duplicate of this text layer by pressing Ctrl plus J. After that select move tool and then click on this left arrow key of your keyboard and then click on this top arrow key of your keyboard. Now we need to repeat these 3 steps 28 more times in order to get the perfect depth of the text. Sounds tiresome right? Don't worry we will automate these 3 steps. So for that go to windows and then select option actions. After that click on create new action icon and then give any name of your choice and then click on record. Now after that perform the 3 steps one more time create a duplicate, left arrow key and then top arrow key. Now once the three steps have been performed, after that click on the stop icon to stop recording. So now as you can see action has recorded these three steps. Now if you want to perform these three steps again, all you need to do is click on this depth over here and then click on this play button. So now as you can see Photoshop performed those three steps for you. Now keep clicking on this play button until you reach a count of 30. So now as you can see we have now got a nice depth for the 3D text. Now let's merge all the 30 3D depth text layer into a single group. So for that make the top 3D depth text layer active by clicking on it and then go to the bottom. After that press shift and then click on this bottom 3D depth text layer which will give you the selection of the two layers as well as selection of all the layers in between. After that press ctrl plus G to merge all the layers into a single group. Now let's rename that group as depth. Now we need to add some shadows over here as well so for that expand the depth group and then double click on the effects tab of the top layer and then select the drop shadow option. After that set the blend mode as soft light, color as black, opacity as 80%, untick this use global light option and then set the angle as 135 degree. After that set the distance as 15 pixels. And then set the size as 25 pixels. To show you the before and after of this drop shadow effect clicking on this drop shadow checkbox. So this is the before and then this is the after. 
After that click on OK. Now after that minimize the group and now we need to place this depth group at the center of the document so let me just place it. After that make the retro text layer active by clicking on it and then unhide it by clicking on the R icon. After that using move tool let's place it properly about the depth group. Now after that we need to give some shadows to the overall text over here as well so for that expand the depth group layer and then go at the bottom and then make the bottom 3D depth layer active by clicking on it. After that create a duplicate of that layer by pressing Ctrl plus J and then drag the duplicate layer outside of the group and then minimize the group. After that right click on the duplicate layer and then select option clear layer style. After that let's rename this layer as shadows. Now after that click on add layer style option and then select option blending options. After that click on color overlay and then set the blend mode as normal and then set the color which you would like to give to the shadows over here. Any dark color will work fine. After that click on ok and then click on ok. After that go to filter and then blur and then select option motion blur. After that set the angle as 45 degree and then set the distance as 15 pixels and then click on ok. Now again over here we need to create one more action so for that click on create new action icon and then give any name of your choice and then click on record. After that create a duplicate of this shadows layer by pressing ctrl plus j and then press left arrow key and then press the down arrow key of your keyboard and then stop the recording. After that click on shadows and then play this recording until you reach a count of 30. After that let's merge all the shadows layer into a single group and then rename that group as shadows. After that expand the group and then select the first 13 shadows layer and then reduce the opacity of the selected layers to 1%. After that select the next 13 layers and then reduce its opacity to 2%. After that select the rest of the layers and then reduce the opacity of those layers to 3%. So as you can see we are getting such a nice shadows over here. Now let me just minimize the group. So as you can see it is giving such a nice touch over here. Now in order to complete our retro text effect let's add some grainy filters over here. So for that make the retro text layer active by clicking on it. And then create a new layer by clicking on create new layer icon. After that go to edit. And then fill. And then select the use as 50% grey and then click on OK. After that go to filter and then noise and then select option add noise. After that set the amount as 3%, set the distribution as Gaussian and then click on this monochromatic checkbox and then click on OK. So now as you can see we have now created the grainy noise over here. Now let's blend this grainy noise properly with the text. So for that change the blend mode of this layer to overlay. So now as you can see the grains has been applied to the overall image. Now let me just show you the before and after of this grains by clicking on the icon. So this will be the before and then this is the after. So as you can see it is giving such a nice shuttle touch to this 3D retro text over here. So that's it guys. Hope you guys like this video on how to create 3D retro text effect in Photoshop. Now if you guys like this video then hit the like button. Also share it to the ones who might be interested in such videos. And subscribe to the channel for more videos in Photoshop. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.